My name is uh, Professor Francis Chinagwundo. I'm a consultant urological surgeon. I'm based in London. I work at Bart's Health NHS Trust on the National Health Service. And in the private sector, I work out of the HCA London Bridge Hospital site. What I'd like to do is just to uh, spend a few minutes talking about one of the treatments that I offer for the benign enlarged prostate gland, which is called uh, Eurolift. Now, Eurolift is an attractive option for men with an enlarged prostate gland, also known as BPH or benign prostate hyperplasia. It's a procedure for men who are experiencing urinary difficulties, particularly if the flow uh, is slowing down. And it's for men with intermediate uh, severity of symptoms where the tablets that we use are not effective enough and the man wants something doing, but not necessarily to the extent of physically carving out the prostate gland, what we call TURP. By way of background, as men age, commonly this gland that we call the prostate, which is the size of a walnut that sits underneath the bladder and has a space in the middle for the urine to pass through. As men age, the prostate enlarges and squeezes the urethra, which is the water pipe that runs through the middle of it. And so men find the urinary flow slows down. They may have to get up at night to pass urine. There may be a delay before the stream gets going. Commonly, we use tablets to try and deal with this. But if they don't work, then we have various ways of dealing with the enlarged prostate gland. The Eurolift procedure is an innovative way of dealing with the prostate gland. It does not require any cutting of the prostate, nor does it require any removal of prostate tissue. So it is what we term minimally invasive. It can even be done under local anesthesia, something which I've, I've done several times. Whereas the traditional transurethral resection requires a general anesthetic or a spinal anesthetic. The urologist places tiny implants to hold the lateral lobes of the prostate apart. It's like pulling apart curtains and keeping them permanently um, apart. So this relieves the compression on the urethra and allows the urine to flow normally again. There are certain advantages to Eurolift over other methods of dealing with the enlarged prostate gland. For example, it does not cause any new problems with uh, erectile function, nor does it cause any problems with ejaculation. So this is different to some of the other ways of dealing with the uh, prostate gland. Thus, fertility is not impaired, if, if that's uh, an, an issue for you. And importantly, a normal sex life continues. Another advantage is that it is a day case procedure. A catheter is not necessary. The whole procedure takes less than 20 minutes, which is shorter than many other operations. And I generally advise men that it's a couple of weeks before they notice an improvement in their symptoms. There's a lot of clinical data to show that Eurolift system is safe and effective in relieving urinary symptoms. And also importantly, it is a durable procedure. In other words, it lasts. And so it's unlikely to need to be repeated, although it can be repeated if needs be. Another thing men often ask me is what are the side effects of Eurolift? And I say generally few, it's, it's, it's well tolerated, but possible side effects include passing blood in the urine temporarily, there may be some burning initially whilst you're, whilst you're uh, voiding. You may have to get to the toilet in a hurry, what we call urgency, and occasionally some pelvic pain. Most symptoms are mild to moderate and settle within two to four weeks. So I think that uh, Eurolift is a, a good addition to the treatment methods of dealing with the enlarged uh, prostate gland. In summary, Eurolift is a minimally invasive treatment for the enlarged prostate gland. Generally, 
it works well in prostate glands below 80 grams in size, which is the majority of men. It works well for men with uh, moderate symptoms, for those who have completed an international prostate symptom score. We're talking of a symptom score of 19 or less. And it's a well tolerated and effective treatment for most men.